Alright guys, here we are back on NR2003, and today we have a very special race. It's going to be K&N Series at the Memphis International Raceway. This is a track that almost died. It was originally a drag strip, and a dirt oval, and a road course. They eventually put in this sort of uh, tri-oval that's really sh similar to Richmond in a lot of ways. Ugh. But anyway, thankfully this track got reinvigorated. I think it was around 2012, 2013 that they really uh, started to bring Memphis International Raceway back from the brink. And now k and East Series runs there. So we're going to run a k and East race today with 20 opponents, 38 laps, 97 AI difficulty. These are all the settings we're going to work with. I'm also going to talk a little bit about my setup. So I'm going to take you over to the garage and give you some information on that. And we're not going to qualify, so I'll see you guys in the race. All right, so let's talk about the setup for this race. Um, so far with the defaults fast setup in practice, I found that the car is pretty stable and feels halfway decent. But in my opinion, it's not quite turning as well as I want to. On corner entry, it, getting on the brakes doesn't quite rotate the car as much as I'd like. And on the exit, the nose can kind of be lethargic at times. So how I'm gonna counter that is I'm gonna drop the brake bias a little bit that's going to do is going to give me more turn when I press the brakes down. It's going to cause the car to want to rotate a little bit better. I'm going to jack up a little bit of grill tape. That's going to make that nose want to turn. And I'm going to lower the real spoiler, which is going to give me a little bit more speed in a straight line. It's also going to make that back end a little bit more likely to want to kick out a bit more. I'm also going to lower the wedge just a tiny bit. I don't usually adjust it that much, but I just feel like the car is really stable. And that means it's going to be tight after quite a few laps of running. Drivers, start your engines. All right, guys, it is a race time here at Memphis International Raceway. We've got 38 laps here today, and we are starting from the back of the pack. We'll see how we do here. Um, I think we've got pretty good pace. The adjustments I made in practice really got this car working a lot better. I just, uh, I like a car that can rotate. It makes it a bit harder to drive, especially in the early going, but it makes it easier to drive the car faster, if that makes any sense. If you guys are new, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, like and comment on this video, but most of all, enjoy the race as we go racing here at Memphis, sort of like Richmond. I don't like that, but it's a bit better than Richmond. It's wider, maybe. I'm going to shoot the gap three wide in the middle on T1. Maybe not. We're going to try and clear our way out of last place here. Very slow on the exit. Got a chance to go three wide at the bottom. An invitation. We're gonna take it. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Jump go hard on the brakes. Still there. Thankfully, the car's rotating well here. Make a couple of clean passes there. Too much trouble. Got Francis Jr. looking on our inside. Had to hold up there for Gonzalez on the exit. To his inside, force him to take the outside lane. Keep low. Shove our nose in hard there. Clear. Car's moving well at the moment. So I'm sure you guys already see how I. I think this track is vaguely similar to Richmond. Short track with a tri-oval. Just feel like there's a bit more width to it. Uh-oh. We got one shoving the nose on our inside as we're a bit lethargic there in the middle of the corner. I don't really want to be stuck on the outside. Try and hold him down and clear him off with a big kick of oversteer. Oh boy. This thing is getting active on the exit. There we go. We were able to gap him a little bit there. Of course, coming from the back, you want to be worried about what's ahead, not what's behind you. 
laps. We got 33 laps left. Ooh, another big kick over steer there on the exit. It's like Rich. Uh oh. We got one blowing up. Please, please no. Okay, he's good. I'm trying to drive it a lot like Richmond. It's kind of ruining me in turn four because it's not quite the same. Richmond, you can just stomp on the throttle and let the car roll out to the wall big time. Here there's like a bit of a hill. I don't know how to describe it. It just doesn't feel exactly the same, which is good because I hate Richmond. We're not showing off too much skill at the moment here. Try and hold Gonzalez behind us. He's still side by side with me, unfortunately, on the entry to turn three. Do we have enough to clear him down the front? Come on, baby. Not quite. Really try and pin him down here. He comes up off the bottom. We're door to door off a of turn two. Oh man. I'll try a crazy move here. Clear. Car outside. Still there. Keep oh, going. a little bump there from the car behind. Said get a move on. <laughs> this is great racing right here. I love outside. this track. Okay. I won't get ahead of myself. Some good stuff for sure. I'm having to work this car hard at the moment. Just keep up with these guys. Maybe 97 was a little bit too steep on the difficulty. Let's see if we can't get back in a rhythm now that we got the bottom again. Inside of Gonzalez, force him out. Still there. Stay low. Stay Should low. we hold the bottom? We do. Should be able to clear him sometime soon. Ooh, okay, gratefully back up into 15th. Just gotta make sure not to let him back to our. No, no, no. Gotta make sure not to let him back to our inside. I got back on the throttle too aggressively there. Ooh, this is a ton of fun. Again, the, this is the beauty of motorsport, this is the beauty of sim racing. You don't have to be anywhere near the lead to be having a great time. Of course, you know, winning is always fun. But... Hey man, fighting hard for 15th, 14th, the whole race. That's a ton of fun as well. I really want that 14th place. Got well over half the race to get there and maybe just maybe close down those guys ahead who are fighting really need to step on it we're drifting off a of turn four my goodness chance to go after that group of cars ahead, but I need to be patient with my move here. Whilst we're sliding again, just can't get it right off of turn four. Car hooks up well on the exit of two. Just need to get this set of corners right here. Let it track out to the wall. Perfect. Oh, 
right, now where's the move gonna come? I feel like when we're good off of four, we're really good, but... Maybe here, we're close. Stay side by side with him. Really don't want to let him get clear. Try and force him to the outside. We were side by side on the entry to the corner, so he's stuck out there. Try and force him as wide as we can to get ourselves a good entry. I think this is it. I think we got him here, and we do. Excellent. All right, 4.3 seconds. What do we got? The yellow flag is out. Let's go. Race back to the line. All right, okay, we're well, under we're caution. Oh, so, uh, that was embarrassing finally cleared ourselves off and we just but it's gonna give us a chance to get some fresh tires on it which I'm sure we could use and uh, maybe make a little bit of adjustment add some grill tape to it I'll see you guys at the restart all right guys so we made our pit stop and we're getting ready to go back to green here that was kind of embarrassing but you know we didn't lose that much in the end only a couple spots and I have 12 to go when we get back to it Made some adjustments, got some fresh tires. Basically all I did was add a little grill tape, but that's gonna give me a little bit more turn, a little bit more speed. And I'm hoping that we can uh, get back up to where we were at least. And I'm gonna be driving hard here. We only got 12 laps to do it, so. Here we go. Time for the shootout to the finish at Memphis. Green, green, green! The green flag. Watch the wheel spin there. Outside. We're just gonna dive bomb. Sorry there, buddy. Stay low. Ain't got enough time to wait around. You're gonna leave the inside open on the last restart. Clear. Right, we got fresh tires. What can we do with them? Oh man, they're really slow on the entry. Like, really, really slow. There's not really a lot of ways to pass, though. Got a good run off of four there. On Garcia. Take it to his inside. Ten laps left to get three more spots to get back to where we were. Still there. We have enough to make this charge. The car feels good. The car feels really good. We are storming. Easily, easily passed him there. Up in the 16th now. Two ahead of us are the last two guys we were fighting before we went yellow, so... Oh, man. Okay, those fresh tires. <laughs> they only hold up for so long. We start getting that kick on the exit. We go side by side ahead of me. Not really sure where to go. Not gonna go to the outside. We're gonna get a good run here. Stay low. Just gonna keep it on the bottom. Still there. Clear outside. 
I have to go with the line. Like, again, these guys are a part of that lead pack. But we just have so much speed on these freshies. Keep low. Keep low. Clear. Easy. Easily back up to where we were. Ah, pushed out a little bit there. I was really trying to work the car hard to maybe catch the guys ahead. That was the first time we hit anything all day. It's a new record. This might be the furthest we can go, although you never know if those guys get to racing ahead of me. I'll push out into the wall again. I think 14th is going to be about the end of it. Although a great recovery drive there. We may need to protect from Gonzalez as he's getting a bit antsy behind me. The car is starting to skate on the exit. Two laps left. We're just going to fire it off hard into the corner so there's no chance we get caught. And that runoff turn four, man. It is sketchy. All right. So we're gonna dive through three and four for the final time. A great recovery drive there. It's not over until it's over, baby. We're gonna come home with a solid 14th. That's what I'm talking about. Nice to get back on the saddle, have a good finish, right, the and race somewhere I've never raced before. Okay, that's it. We'll get them next time. Uh, don't be too disappointed. It was fun racing at Memphis. Now let's see who got the win. Burton, Harrison Burton, I think. Congratulations to him on that one. And I hope you guys enjoyed that race. I thank you for watching. It was a ton of fun to participate in. Go ahead and leave a like and comment if you'd like to. Over. Come on in. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for me. I will see you guys in the next race.